Hey, Kyle Sellerud here. Uh, someone was just asking about how to improve the landing page aspect of their quality score. Um, so I wanted to make this video to show some ways that you can do this and see where your site uh, may be going wrong with your landing page experience, according to Google. Um, so I'm gonna use the landing page of the person who was asking about this and um, just kind of run you through a couple things that I would look at. So uh, first of all, Google has a whole page about this, about how to understand the landing page experience. Um, so presumably this is the kind of stuff they are looking for when determining the quality of your landing page. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda go down part of this list and uh, go over some things you can look at yourself. So offering relevant, useful, and original, original content. Okay, so obviously you wanna give people content related to what they're searching for. Um, now the original content thing is something that you can check pretty quickly. Okay, if you take your URL and you go to a website called Copyscape, okay, copyscape.com, this is gonna compare your website to the rest of the internet. And it's gonna tell you if your content is original or if there are other websites using the same content. Okay, so in this case, we see there are multiple results, multiple other websites using content from the site. If we click on one of these, it's gonna show us exactly which content on this site is the same as the content on our site. So it's highlighting all the content that is the same. Okay, so this whole section at the top looks like it's uh, the same as the section at the bottom, right? So Google obviously can tell this within their system and that would not be original content, okay? They want relevant, useful, and original content. They're probably determining that the content on the page is not useful or not original. Um, so change that so it's original so that when you search your site in Copyscape, you don't get any matches, okay? You want original content. Um, the next thing down, promote transparency and foster trustworthiness on your site. Uh, one thing that we know Google likes to see, if you are requesting someone's contact information, you need to have a privacy policy. Um, preferably a link to an actual privacy policy um, or at least something that says we will not sell or, sh or sell your information or anything like that. Um, I would put a link right below the form to your privacy policy and another link to your privacy policy at the bottom of the page. Okay, that will help with the promoting transparency, transparency and trustworthiness aspect. Okay, the next couple of things, um, making sure you're mobile friendly and fast. So Google has a tool that'll tell you how fast your site is. It's called Google Page Speed Insights. If you search for that, it'll come up and you can go to the site and enter your URL. And it's gonna run a test to see how fast your page loads on mobile and on desktop. Okay, so you can see here, this site is getting only 55 out of 100 on mobile. Uh, red is obviously no good. Uh, yellow is a little better and green is the best. So 55 out of 100 on mobile, 62 out of 100 on desktop. So this is telling you that your uh, page is not loading as fast as it could and it's even showing you what to do to fix this. You can give this to a, 
a lot of web developers. Okay, most web developers should be able to look at these suggestions and implement some of these to improve your page speed. Okay, so that's one thing. Um, there's also a mobile friendly test that you can get to here. We'll enter the URL and run the mobile friendly test. So again, they're looking at if your site is mobile friendly. Okay, and you can see that uh, this page uh, did pass the test. Google thinks the page is mobile friendly. Um, so that's good, and they even show you uh, what your page probably looks like on mobile. Okay, um, the last thing I want to show is uh, basically how we'll go back to this first one. And we're going to be looking at how relevant the content is to the keywords you're trying to target. So to do this, you can go to Google's Keyword Planner, enter your landing page here, and get ideas. Okay, when you do this, Google's going to tell you the keywords that it thinks you should be using in your campaign based on how it is reading your landing page. Okay, so that means the keywords that it is telling you are the keywords Google feels are relevant to your landing page. So if you do this and you're seeing keywords here that have nothing to do with, your, with what you're doing, or if you're not seeing a keyword here that you think should be relevant, that you want to be targeting, um, well, then you need to look at your site and see how you can work that keyword, work that wording into your site better. Um, because these are the keywords Google feels are relevant to this particular site. Um, and in this case, it looks like these are all pretty good. Okay, so I would, I would think the relevance of this site is pretty good. Um, so look at some of the other things that I just showed, and hopefully that can help improve your landing page relevance.